Hey everybody, how you going? My name is Michael Stent and lately I've been getting a little bit of Apple design envy. You know, Apple is this apparent king in the computer world for their design. You know, people pay hundreds of dollars for their peripherals. They're often quite sleek, they're really polished. And I've been thinking lately, what is Microsoft's answer to this? What peripherals, if any, does Microsoft have to match Apple's design greatness. Microsoft does have an answer to this and it is the Microsoft Designer Bluetooth Desktop Keyboard and Mouse Combo. So just to quickly run you through the spec sheet, both the keyboard and the mouse are Bluetooth 4 devices running on 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Both devices run on AAA batteries and the keyboard has chiclet style keys. So if you're not a fan of chiclet style keys, then you should probably look elsewhere. And the keyboard is made of plastic. However, it's a polycarbonate, so it has a bit more of a premium finish and more solid durable feel. The mouse is also ambidextrous, so you can use it if you use your left hand or if you use your right hand or if you use both. And as a bonus, it works on Windows, iOS, Mac and Android. It does have some limited functionality outside of Windows, however, so keep that in mind. And before we set this thing up, we're just gonna quickly have a look at what is inside the box. So it's a pretty standard looking Microsoft box. You know, it's minimal, there's nothing too special. And the first thing we see blaring out at us inside the box is the keyboard. And it is very sturdy, it is very nice. It's a matte black finish and uh, yeah, it feels premium. The first thing I kind of notice about it is that it is thin. It is really thin, incredibly thin. And yeah, I wasn't really expecting it to feel so durable yet so tiny. On the keyboard, there's a super easy, simple to use battery door. It's just magnetized. You slide it left and slide it back right when you want to close it. And on the side of the keyboard, you also have the tiny little Bluetooth pairing button. Okay. And so after the keyboard, we have the mouse. Now looking at it, I mean, it is a really modern looking funky designer mouse. However, my initial impression is that it is not very comfortable uh, at all. It doesn't feel good in the hands and it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's not really super appealing to look at in my opinion. The mouse, however, has a pretty funky battery door. It's magnetized as well. You just push down at the bottom and it clicks up. You have a power button that also pairs as a Bluetooth pairing button. We also have four AAA batteries, two for the mouse and two for the keyboard. And if you're using Bluetooth devices on your desktop for the first time, you may not have a Bluetooth receiver. So it's worth checking that first. You can buy them online. They're about $15 and they are absolutely tiny. So to pair these devices to your computer, it's super easy. All you have to do is hold down the Bluetooth button for about three seconds. If you go into your Bluetooth settings on your computer, you can click add new device. Now for the mouse, it's super simple. All you have to do is select the mouse and you're good to go. For the keyboard, it's almost the same, but you just have to enter a code and then hit enter and then it should pair the device just fine. Now, one last thing before we get into the full review, if you're wondering what the chiclet style keys on the keyboard sound like, it sounds like this. Okay, now, so the full review. Firstly, I just wanna to touch on the keyboard. I love it. It's great, it's super nice, it feels so premium, it's intuitive, it is a joy to type on. Something I was really surprised about and I was a bit nervous about is the responsiveness, but so far, my experience with the designer keyboard has been Perfect, no problems, no letters dropped. It has been an absolute breeze. Also, this keyboard is quiet. I have been using a mechanical keyboard for probably the last maybe five or six years. Going from that to chiclet style keys, it is amazing. Also, it's small, it's tiny. It barely takes up any real estate on my desk. I think Microsoft has done a great job to position the keys around so that it is all nice and compact, yet I don't really feel like I've lost anything. So far after using it, it feels like everything I need is still there. One worry I also had when I got this keyboard is that it may slide around on the desk if it's too lightweight or because it's so small, but no, surprisingly it's it, it feels heavy, it feels grippy on my desk and I haven't had any slide, any movement, no, no wiggle or anything like that. It has been perfectly stable the entire time that I've used it. Now, so far since using this keyboard, there's only actually about two and a half things that I can actually fault this on. The first half thing is the delete key. It's in a bit of a weird spot. It's above the backspace button, which I'm not really used to, but I'm sure I'll get used to it in time. The next thing is the lack of a num lock indicator. Now it can be super annoying when you're trying to type in numbers and then you realize just something's gone wrong. How did you end up here? Something has gone to something else in a different part of the document. Num lock, 
It's a super simple thing, just an indicator to show whether it's on and off. And the last thing that I can fault this keyboard on is the fact that it doesn't have USB recharging. It uses two AAA batteries and Microsoft says in about six to 12 months or so, I'm going to have to replace them. Not a huge deal, but for sustainability sake and also because I'm just not gonna wanna have to go out and get more batteries later on, it would have been nice to have USB recharging. Now the second half of this combo, the mouse. I'm really not a big fan of the Microsoft Designer mouse. It's kind of light. Uh, there's a lot of air in between your hand and the mouse. There's only a couple of different contact points. But the one thing that I can say about the mouse is that the click is excellent. Somehow it is quite a firm press to make it click. However, once you do click, somehow it becomes incredibly soft, almost like there's padding underneath to kind of cushion it as you're pushing down. I'm not sure why, but that is just the main thing with the designer mouse that has stuck with me. It has a nice click. Apart from that, I'm not really too interested in any other part of it. The design is eh, and the fact that it only has three buttons is kind of, uh, yeah, also kind of lackluster. And finally, the last thing with the mouse, the scroll wheel. It's, um, it's a little bit too thin. It doesn't really feel too sturdy and it feels a little bit on the cheaper end. Um, the actual feedback from it is quite good, but overall it, um, it doesn't really feel good to use. So overall, do I recommend this? The keyboard, absolutely yes. So far it is the best keyboard I've ever used hands down. I'm not worried about losing all of those extra keys that you see on bigger keyboards. The actual keys, the chiclet style keys, have completely blown away any mechanical keys that I have used. They're soft, they're quiet, they have great feedback. And not having wires and the extra real estate on my desk from such a small keyboard is something that I've been missing out on for the better part of my adult life. And for me, the keyboard is the main reason I bought the designer combo. I would have paid full price for it even without the mouse included. I'm probably going to replace the mouse almost immediately. I may have been a little bit more keen on the mouse if it had five buttons, the two bumper buttons on the side for forward and backwards while you're browsing, but the fact that it can't even deliver that and it also has AA batteries, it's too small, it doesn't really cup the hand well, it's, uh, it's a pass from me. And that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you've learned a lot. If you've got any comments about the products, please leave them below. And until next time, see you later.